being able to walk the via show and being able to shoot for Sports Illustrated, I feel like it's way to more Filipino girls to be able to say, hey, I can do that too. Okay, so when I was 17, I got an email from my New York agency. Um, they found me on Instagram and they wanted to fly me to try modeling in New York. I was a bit skeptical because I was like, this, this email seems very sketchy. I don't know if I could trust this person who wants to fly me across the globe. But I did my proper research and my dad spoke to um, my agent, Roman, and he verified that he's legit. And so when I was 18, during my second year of college summer, I flew to New York for four months and then I tried out the industry. It's not, it's not the convention, conventional way of doing that because I was lucky I got scouted through Instagram. If Instagram, you know, if Instagram wasn't there, I would not be where I am today. But usually if you're going to do it the traditional way, you would then submit, you can submit photos to a, a modeling agency in, in yeah. New York. And then they'll look through it, and then if they are interested, um, they can have you come to the agency. It's such a hard industry because you don't even know if a New York agency will even want to sign you. And then you spend all this money to go to New York in the hopes of, you know, even getting representation. Yeah, you never know. Before I started doing this in New York, there was only like a handful of Filipino models and I didn't really see Filipino models in New York. So it kind of like, it made, it made me, it was a big hindrance to me thinking if I would be able to make it or not. So to able, you know, be, being able to walk the VS show and being able to shoot for Sports Illustrated, I feel like gives gives way to more Filipino girls to be able to say, hey, I can do that too. I feel like barriers have been broken and it's just been nice to give way and pave way to more Filipinas to be able to model in New York. I started modeling at 15 in Manila and I was really insecure because I was shorter than most models. I was really young. And I wasn't really, you know, I wasn't really put together as uh, the other more established models. And I learned very young and it's, been, it's helped a lot with my career, with just learning that sometimes if clients don't choose me, it's not because I'm not good enough or I'm not, you know, pretty enough or I'm not tall enough. It's just because I am not the right fit person for the job. It doesn't make me lesser than the other models. They're just looking for a particular type of person and I just didn't make that fit. So learning that very early on um, during my career um, has helped me a lot when I moved to New York because then I was competing with like even bigger models and even bigger figures. And so having that just mentality has really helped.